New York-based auction house Guernsey's calls this event a century of music. On the auction block, guitars owned by music legends like Paul McCartney, Eddie Van Halen, Bo Diddley and Eric Clapton. Even musical instruments played by a politician. Believe it or not, this saxophone was played by Bill Clinton on the evening he was inaugurated president at the, at the gala presidential ball in Washington, D.C. Arlen Ettinger, president of the Guernsey's auction house, says he's proud of every single musical gem of this collection. And speaking of Eddie Van Halen, uh, here is one of his most famous guitars from the 1980s, known as a striper. Uh, it was said that Eddie himself did the stripes, put on tape, painted the thing, took the tape off, and there you have the white stripes. Here is Bill Clinton's saxophone with the autographs of Michael Jackson, Jack Nicholson, and Goldie Hawn. There are also some unique bits of music history. For example, the doors from New York City's famous Chelsea Hotel are being put up for auction. Janis Joplin, Andy Warhol, Bob Dylan, and Jimi Hendrix not only stayed at Chelsea short term, but at times lived there for extended periods of time. Also for sale are objects from the Woodstock Musical Festival, ranging from road signs to stage covering. On the grounds of Woodstock was a hand-painted, big uh, four-foot by eight-foot, uh, one-and-a-half by nearly three-meter hand-painted directional sign, map, uh, saying, you are here, the stage is there, the outhouses are over there, uh, the pond where you can go swimming is there, and it was very beautifully done. And there was only one of them. We have that. We have sections of the stage of Woodstock, big pieces of the wooden stage. And as I said a moment ago, we have hundreds uh, of the original photographic transparencies, the original photographs and the camera used by the photographer chosen to be on the stage at Woodstock, so pictures of uh, Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, uh, Jerry Garcia, Crosby Stills. Guernsey's auction house specializes in more unusual objects like these. All in all, over a thousand pieces are being sold in the A Century of Music auction. Tom Crandall, who owns a vintage guitar store, came to take a look. The banjos caught my attention because I, I think they're, it's an interesting and very deep collection, right? Um, also the parlor guitars are unusual, you just don't see that many of them. Uh, a lot of them didn't survive. No, they're not terribly valuable, but they're still interesting. Officials say because of the pandemic, the auction will take place online and by phone. For Evgeny Maslov in New York, NRI's VOA News.